Okay, so I was asked this uh, question on the right way to pray and meditate and uh, for empowerment, surrender, and receiving guidance. And I think the receiving guidance is a very, um, very uh, interesting question. Um, I mean, I can, I can share how I sort of see it. Um, every, everything is a reflection of uh, a few factors. One is how much spiritual work have I done to date and how surrendered as an attitude am I to life? And how much do I go to my thinking head um, to figure things out? But you know, the question is about the levels of empowerment, the levels of power, authentic power, are related to, for me to how much repressed feelings I've let go of so far. And that can also be in a general thing since I've started my spiritual journey. But if a sudden, sudden issue flares up and there's suddenly a lot of fear and a lot of indecision about what's the right course of action to take, but it can also be like, well, how much of these repressed feelings have I felt in connection to this area? And, uh, and how much mind chatter uh, am I having of, of uh, fear? And all, so, so I just take it down to, so the general guidance is general spiritual work will take, will sort of clear away the ego and you'll go to higher, higher levels in general, higher levels of consciousness. So you'll generally be operating on a level, like if anyone's done work, spiritual work for like a few years, usually how you, you, can't remember, you can't remember it, but how you were, how much thinking you were doing and how much fear you were three years ago is nowhere near. You're operating at a much more surrendered, serene in general, and more intuitive and trusting state than you were several years back. But often that's not, um, that's not really clear because progress is usually slow. So that's a general level of power. I mean, abs you know, when you get to the higher levels um, of connection, then you start to go more into, can be described in different ways, these flow states, or, or when, you're, uh, when it, there seems to be a witnessing of life unfolding and things tend to synchronistically, synchronistically tend to happen and one tends to be much more intuitive and much more trusting that everything will be fine. But that, you know, but often, you know, when you're wanting guidance, often one is wanting guidance because one isn't in, in the intuitive state because it's more like, okay, something has come up where there is a lack of trust and there often is emotions and a lot of thinking, like I have to get this decision right, you know, or or if there is some intuition, well, is it the right intuition or is it the wrong intuition? And there's second guessing of anything that intuitive. So for me, the, the main thing then is, uh, you know, I'm a reflection of all the spiritual work I've done to date, which means I have a general level of consciousness which can fluctuate if uh, situations that seem triggering seem to appear and emotions may occur and more thinking identification may occur. To get uh, the guidance, uh, the thing I usually do is if there's any feelings, to, to feel those feelings out. Because for me, it's like, let's say uh, there um, uh, suddenly a situation happens, you know, my father's got a BMB and a squatter breaks in, and then there's the experience of fear and this thinking about, oh my goodness, I have to go in and he, and he may become violent as I try and take him out. Mm -hmm. So that can, tr you know, bring up, so it'd be like, okay, I was, I was in the observer and I was serene and now suddenly there's fear and there's thoughts of is he in the place waiting around a dark corner to ambush me when I go and uh, so, so, so there's this thing and so I know that when I'm when you're in this serene place because you've processed everything and you're witnessing and life is flowing that's all great but what about when these situations arise mm -hmm. and uh, then for me it's like okay so it's a little bit like almost temporarily I've gone into fear and thinking. And when I'm in fear and thinking, you know, it's like I'm going down the scale and I'm disconnecting from that intuitive, intuitive guidance. You know, I'm sliding down, I'm more in my thinking and my fear, and I might get more identified with the body. So suddenly it's like, okay, and this is totally for me then the wrong place to be getting any intuitive guidance from God. It's like, well, now I'm getting, I mean, I'm identified as a limited fear-based body that's trying to think and work out the solution. So of course I know that anything that comes to me when I'm this low vibration 
is going to be useless. You know, when I'm in fear and, and very identified with body and the thinking mind, I, uh, the one thing I do know 100% sure is that everything, all the thoughts are coming from fear and this body identification is cutting me off from flow, intuition and the right answers coming, the optimal answers coming so that the Holy Spirit or grace can deal with the problem or guide me or use me as an instrument to deal with the problem. So I'll quickly spend as much, much time as I can feeling everything out, going to the observer, letting go of anything I think, uh, realizing, but when, as you're doing that processing and also handing everything into God's infinite light and love, I place, whether this tenant is in the property or not, into God's infinite light and love. I place all of my thinking into God's infinite light and love. I place if I get murdered into God's infinite light and love. You know, I place all of this, you know. So it's like, just, just, just let it all go, all this crap that I'm holding on to. And then I, I know from years of experience, as that thing goes, the likelihood of a positive outcome is already increasing. Mm -hmm. Because that fear, and even if I go in there with tremendous fear and thinking, even that I, I know is not good for me. You know, if at all possible, I'd rather not go into the property, you know, in terrified panic and fear and trauma, and then have to deal with a guy, you know, looking around the corner. I'd rather go in when I've cleared the fear and trust intuitively that, you know, um, things will be okay. So that's the one thing. So if there is an urgent decision, I'll try and clear as much. Let, let's say the decision has to be made. If it's a finite, like you've got to make the decision by next week and you have to do it, then I'll process as much and delay the decision. Uh, and also, here's the thing on answering about spiritual guidance. Uh, I'll answer it two way and I'll also answer the bit about the right prayers. And also, now here's a, uh, that's actually, actually a great question, thank you for asking of me. Um, the thing is, like, a lot of people say to me, like, you know, should I do it or should I not do it? I want God to let me know the exact thing, you know. Like, um, should, I, should I go in tomorrow or should I not go in tomorrow? Like, I want God, like a thundercloud, to speak to me and say, okay, this is the right choice to make. You are definitely going in tomorrow. You've got my okay. Go, <laughs> go in. You know, so they want this sort of very, very clear sort of signal, like, uh, sure. But actually, what I trust is that when I'm in fear and thinking, I identify with the body, that... And also, to an extent, things can go badly if I'm in that state and having to try and deal with things. My thinking is bad, and also situations may align uh, mystically to, to correlate to my fear and wanting to be in control. So it's like, okay, if I have to go in, it's like you're forced, you definitely have to go in, then I'll clear as much as possible yeah. and trust that at the end of it, my intuition and my channeling, even though I'm not clear in my head, will be at a much higher vibration. Of going in. Also, another thing I'd like to say, because people always want, you know, for the level of your thinking always wants like a guarantee from God. Mm. You know, it's like, well, you know, I've done all this prayer, you know, I've prayed to the Holy Spirit for a miracle to give me the clear, clear answer, should I go in or should I not? And, and I haven't had a thunderbolt come in and sort of tell me that it's definitely going tomorrow, definitely not. But for me, it's I trust there's a thing, like if I've cleared and I've spent as much time clearing that whatever choice seems to spontaneously arise mm -hmm. or it intuitively seems to be the best thing to do because the ego often, if you've got an ego it will often second guess but are you 100% sure? Mm -hmm. uh, can mm -hmm. you guarantee that this intuitive intuition is... but I trust that if I've cleared as much fear out and gone to the observer and are, has gone up from fear, up to peace, up to stillness, up to witnessing, that whatever is the best intuition that seems to be coming forth is the one to take. And it will be a correlation of, the, of how much processing I've done. Mm. And that will just come. So I just trust, like, yeah, okay, I've got to make a yes or a no. I've cleared as much. And intuitively, I'm not trying to go to my head, but intuitively my hunch is go in tomorrow. And then I trust that because if I try and ask my head to confirm mm. the thing that I've done, it will always go, well, you might be wrong. Yes. Is that your real intuition? Mm. But I've, I've done the process thing. Things in terms of prayer, um, definitely. I mean, I go to 12-step fellowships. Uh, even that's a lovely one. Uh, you know, I pray for God's right intuition, right inspiration, and right action. That's a 12-step thing from the, from the big book. 
of AA. Um, I, um, oh, I'll, I'll give you a prayer that Dr. Hawkins, my teacher, gave me when I met him, which uh, I do every day. I've done every day. Um, and it's kind of like, oh my God, an enlightened teacher gave me this prayer with my health difficulties. And it was, uh, God, I pray for um, uh, your, uh, your uh, I pray for divine healing, divine health, and divine orchestration. You know, so it's just handing, you know, I'm praying to God for God to orchestrate things in the future. And it seems like, yeah, so dear uh, God, I pray for God's right intuition, right, no, sorry, that's the cross step. I pray for divine healing, divine health, and divine orchestration. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like, you know, I've asked you, God, for divine orchestration today and sort of a trust. But I also ask specifically, you know, um, actually, I do get. You know, I'll share it, it's quite hilarious. I mean, the Holy Spirit will often help me if I lose things. I'll often pray to the Holy Spirit and say, like, where have I left my socks? And, <laughs> and, then, and it often does give me quite quick answers. It's like, we'll check, and check over there in that room, and there will be my socks. But um, anyway, uh, um, now, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, Holy Spirit, I just pray for uh, uh, right guidance in this. Another thing that Hawkins shared with, with me is uh, to pray to the Holy Spirit of God for the truth to be revealed in this situation. Mm. So often, um, when there is an active thing, I know my ego is filtering it through, through a fear-based lens. So, dear God, I, I ask you to see the truth, you know, uh, in this situation and ask for divine truth to be revealed. Um, is another thing. So, yeah, you cannot even talk to them. Like Holy Spirit, like, try and give me some kind of clue or intuition of what's the right thing or help me to clear. But I really look more on, sometimes, you know, very strong intuitions and guidance will come through. But sometimes, for me, I just trust that if I clear all as much emotion before and delay the decision, that I will make a better decision. You know, what in t my best hunch will be at a much higher vibration and will be more, much more likely to do. So sometimes you don't get a th I don't get a thunderbolt, you know, with something. But I trust that if I cleared as much as I can, because I'm now vibrating and it's more likely to be the vibration, even if thinking is happening, is going to be at a higher vibration. Mm -hmm. And the intuition is much more likely to be clear of what's the best intuition to do. And, you know, praying, praying to God uh, and praying for truth, praying for divine orchestration um, and using everything just to clear everything to get to peace and trusting the outcome.